Hi guys, this is uh, Leanne Scott and Dale Fear from Move Therapies in Asoyuz, British Columbia, Canada. We are ABM practitioners, the Anat Benyel Method practitioners here in Asoyuz. And we have brought along a fellow uh, client, a fellow friend to come on here and talk about her experience and her journey with coming to ABM, uh, pardon me, coming to Move Therapies for ABM lessons here in Asoyuz. So Katerina, hi. Hi Katerina. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So we're doing a bit of a Zoom call, obviously, for um, social distancing. So Katerina, I'm just going to ask you, can you give the folks back home some information about your past when it comes to pain and mobility? For sure. Uh, I started to have major back issues when I was in my late 20s. Okay. And uh, I ended up having major surgery at the time and uh, a fusion was performed between L5 and S1. And in order to do that, they took a bone graft from my pelvic bone and I was literally open on three sides and incapacitated for a couple of weeks. The surgery was successful at the time and I was definitely in less pain for quite a number of years. But then, you know, as things creep up, I started to have more back pain again. I've had uh, herniated discs, a couple herniated discs in my lower back, lumbar area. I also had two accidents in between with uh, major whiplashes. So not only was I hurting at the lower end of my back, but also in my neck area as well. So um, one day, uh, about three years ago, I came across Leanne. In fact, I heard her lovely voice at a store and instantly it was like, okay, I think I need to talk to this woman. I need to meet this woman. And I wasn't actually aware of what she was doing. I had seen the sign of ABM before and movement therapy, and I wasn't exactly sure what it was. And I thought, you know, someday maybe I'll, I'll go there and introduce myself and talk to them. But so I ran into Leanne. We carried on a conversation over lunch a little while later, and uh, we chatted about my history. And, uh, you know, I was definitely interested. and. We chatted, and so I made some appointments for intensive to begin and with. And just to interrupt for everybody that doesn't know, uh, an intensive, which is what Katerina just said she booked, is a grouping of lessons, um, either six for us. If in our clinic, we do six lessons as a minimum, maximum of 10 in a short period of time, so over a couple weeks. Yes, so and that's, that's what, what we did. I think we did 10 lessons yeah, over, I think we did over two. two weeks. Yeah. And right away i definitely noticed a difference in the way i was moving in the way the pain was and uh just yeah easier movement like in in the past i would go for a walk maybe half an hour 45 minutes and when i came back my hips would be aching i you know after that my back would start to ache because the muscles in front, the, um, the hip flexors were tight and so I had to stretch and, and it, it was really sort of frustrating because walking is supposed to be one of the best things to do for your back if you have back issues and you know yet it became more difficult for me to do that. So we did those and then uh, we moved on into group lessons Yes, right away in that fall and um, at the beginning, you know, you, you think we're not doing much, like we're not moving much, but oh, it's yeah. really quite amazing what it actually does and the difference that it, that it makes. And, yeah. you know, it's really interesting yeah. because also for me from a professional standpoint, what I do yeah. and, and what Leanne does, very similar in so many ways, but sometimes little is just so much more. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. have to be yeah. big movements. Little movements can make a profound difference in the way you feel and the way your your body is moving which of course is really handy for people that are very injured or um mm -hmm. or a, a lack of mobility for whatever reason an illness and uh, being uh, very elderly whatever it is you big movements are not a necessity to improve mobility improve functional yeah, mobility. it's actually quite it's, a bit yeah. different from what we've been like what i've been taught or what i knew at that you know even before this training too was was go big or go home. I thought it was sort of like I need to do <laughs> yes. things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The only way to go mm -hmm. is, yeah. 
so that's what you learned from the lessons is you were noticing that not they you know you weren't in a big group lesson kicking over your head and doing you know exactly yeah yeah but and still, I like, but still I had huge changes still had yes. huge improvements yeah exactly and i like that you can carry on with something you know in, in a group setting by doing exercising exercises and it's not always like a private lesson it makes it mm -hmm. more cost effective in that way and you get Absolutely. a weekly repetition and reminder and you learn how you can apply it in daily life in right? functional like, movement yeah. yeah yeah exactly yeah, was, so that's yeah. that's really good that that is go ahead i was gonna say that's sort of like when when even how this work started i think that's primarily where it came out of was it was more of uh, mm. telling people what to, to move. And then the, 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 the hands-on the hands yeah. cart sort of came secondary. I could be totally wrong on that, but I, I believe that's sort of the progression okay. of how it evolved. Of how the, the, the method evolved. So then this year, um, and I don't know what prompted it. I think we were just chatting and I think you said, you know, I haven't had a private in a long time now. So we ended up booking one earlier this spring. And what happened yeah. last last year? So I'm I'm a very passionate water skier, mm -hmm. and you very know, <laughs> <laughs> last season, I think I pushed myself a bit hard at times, mm -hmm. and you know my back started seizing up at the end of last summer. And I have to say we didn't do the group lessons in the summer last year. Yeah. I guess for you know it just didn't work out. Yeah. Anyhow, and. So I stopped early in August. I think I, I gave up water skiing because there was just too much pain. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, the five minutes on aren't worth being in pain all day after. Right. And I honestly thought, you know, last year I was 54. I'm 55 now. I thought, you know, maybe that's just it for me. I'm probably never going to do this again. And it truly made me very, very sad. Of course. I really love it. So I do really love it. Like you water ski all the time very early in the morning it's like a ritual routine with you and yeah. your partner you have a home that's right on the lake here in a so you've made it part of your whole culture of your lifestyle awesome. you know so to, awesome. to be like eh is a big deal no more for you yeah and people would say well oh my god she doesn't get to water ski anymore no if it's yes. part of your life if it's something that you do that brings you joy yeah and all absolutely. of a sudden it's like that's it for the rest of your life that that's mm -hmm. not good yeah and yeah. you should be able to there's no reason why you shouldn't have been able to water ski so that's why i was thrilled that mm -hmm. you recognize that wait a minute why can't this be easier yeah exactly yeah yeah and the other thing that prompted me too is in in the winter following the first private lessons and group lessons i went skiing up on the mountain on the snow and I moved so differently, like skiing had become so much easier. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a pretty good skier. I'm not a super great skier, but a pretty good skier. Yeah. And even my husband commented, he's like, oh, wow, you ski really good this year. <laughs> Look at you season. all that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, I have been getting <laughs> private lessons, but not on a ski hill. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that really encouraged me too to think, you know, I'm just not ready to give this up. There's got to be an easier way. And, and, and honestly, I do hear Leanne's voice a lot in my head. And I, I think a lot, you know, just move your pelvis, <laughs> soften your chest. What can you stop? And, yeah. and she's got a lovely voice, so there's no problem with that. <laughs> Actually, I, my, the head, I, the voice I have in my head is, an, is our teacher. Is an an yeah. She's like, yeah. So yeah. it's sort of, it's, yeah, I listen to her voice and it's yeah. like, oh my God. Your like, teacher is in your brain and, yeah. and, and, and this is a mm -hmm. wonderful thing is, you know, it, it guides you and mine is a knot as well. I think, what would a knot say in this situation? One mm -hmm. would, yeah. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you started sort of a different route. You started regular private lessons, which exactly. is not mandatory. It's just something that you and I decided because, you know, it's yeah. our clinic. We can do pretty much whatever we wanted and you wanted to try it. So mm -hmm. I think if, if memory serves, it's not, I shouldn't say if memory serves, it was only just, just recently, but you've been doing about once a week. Mm -hmm. yeah. For about three months. For I about think. three months now. Yeah. Gosh, that's yeah. amazing. That's been three months. Mm -hmm. I would say it's about three months, but yeah. And I think you guys even started. Maybe. We started before COVID, then we took the break, and then we we are we've been back, and we're right. been, you know yeah. one on one mm -hmm. with the protocol. Oh yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, because yeah. mm -hmm. that's why was, there was a pause in between. Yeah. And then when you went on your on your trip, to oh, Canada, yes. you did some 
And then I was yes, so traveling, thank you, yeah, yeah, for that reminder. Traveling is a big part of my life too, and part of it is because I'm an immigrant from Europe. I've lived here 25 years, but my family is back in Switzerland, and you know, I typically would go once a year to see my family and, you know, being on an airplane, I mean, it's pretty much a 24 hour trip from door to door yeah. and it's exhausting. And I would always make sure that I could book a massage the next day or whatever when I get there, because my back would just be so tight and I would be in pain when I get there and the same right. when I come home. And this year I had a trip planned in March, which didn't happen, of course. And then in July, my mom fell ill and I just had to go. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like I, I had no anticipation of this trip. I didn't no even fear. worry about yeah. it. No fear. I thought, oh yeah, well, if I'm on the airplane and, you know, I can do my little movements, it's no yeah. problem. I can do that on an airplane seat. I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to be in pain when I get there. Which is and a I, huge thing to be able to say when you've always been in pain. Always for time. like the like last 25 sure. years, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah, sure enough. I mean, the whole trip was easy and it was even longer because of layovers of, you know, cancel flights and stuff. And there was no problem. Like I got there just fine. I was not in pain. You know, I felt my back a little bit. I was not in pain. It's fantastic. And, I mean, I don't think I have been on one airplane, airplane plane trip in the last 25 years where I wasn't in discomfort or pain when I got there, even if it was a short one. Yeah, even because if it was a short one, because it is, it's very stagnant. Are, you're, yeah. you're forced into a position. Yeah, it's, and that's huge, especially if you like to try, again, mm -hmm. you love to travel. Yeah. And absolutely. so you sort of like, well, do I do it if on every, on either end, it's three at three days of pain. So that's yeah. huge. That's that huge. Is huge. That is huge. Yeah, absolutely. And having the tool, right, to, to be able to do these little exercises wherever you are. Like you say, you can do them at a cocktail party. You, you sure can. can. <laughs> no one has to know you've been doing that. Standing or sitting or even in the car, a long car ride. Same thing. Exactly. You know? Absolutely. Well, I can Hiking, see from my... You know? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I can see from my experience, um, cars were killers. Absolute yeah, for me killers. too, always. Because, because of a hip injury that I oh, had yes. that was brutal. It was killers. Like even, and not driving necessarily, even sitting in the passenger seat, a car, the, the, the movement of a car will win. It's, it's bigger <laughs> than we yes. are. And I used to hold myself as tight as I could. I used to put pillows underneath. I used to like literally physically hold my leg. And now I understand the movement that I need to do with my whole body, my whole spine, my whole mm -hmm. system to go with the car mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i could drive anywhere now i i, I could go yeah. this direction i can go this direction uphill i can go i have mm -hmm. zero i can drive hours upon hours i couldn't drive 20 minutes when mm -hmm. i was in my 20s from this injury without yeah. pain i can yeah. now i could drive to florida well, yeah and I mean, florida's also... far by the way from where we are just in case anyone's wondering florida yeah. is not around the corner and it seems like that would be like my goal with any person that we work with, mm -hmm. exactly what you just said yeah. there. Which mm -hmm. I, have mm -hmm. some, I got my little tool belt of things yeah. yes. that, hey, I'm in this situation. How, can, how am I going to uh, yes. deal with it? How am I going to prepare myself for it? What can I do? Mm -hmm. And it's self, it's, it feels good too, to have a little tool belt for, to be proactive. Well, you don't just have to depend on someone else. Remembering it too, right? Because I've been doing the lessons so frequently, the movement is now the new habit. It's the new yes. me. It's the way I move now. It's not, oh, I should be doing this. Yes. Like the Absolutely. way, and you know, a simple thing like sitting down on the toilet and getting up. I, that completely changed for me. Like and I do that huge, in a completely different a way. Times a day. Yeah. Yes. Well, and it's, and I, I don't have the effort to do that anymore. It just comes naturally now. Like, it's very that's simple what and I very do easy. Now. And that's what yeah. you do. And I love that when you talked about that, you said, this is kind of, the penny has fully dropped. This yes. is how you move now. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, it doesn't mean that we're mindless and we don't ever think about anything about our movement, but no, it, no. Can get, it can get to the point where this is our normal movement now. Yeah. 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 The, the big thing, and, you said habit. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And, you know, I used to always tighten my shoulders. I would always hold my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Now I still do it once in a while, but I, I catch up on it right away. And I'm thinking, right away, you I, notice why, would I, why would I do that? I don't Absolutely. Do that, right? And Whereas what I used, find it used to be maybe two, three times a day, I would say, oh, you better relax your shoulders. And right. then you do it for 10 seconds and then you're back up. Right. Yeah. And now it's the other way around. 
And what I find interesting too is now when you, people say, well, why, like why do you, people might think, why is she even noticing? In my opinion, you're noticing because when you go back to a, I hate the word bad or whatever, but a bad habit, you don't need to tighten your shoulders to be sitting there. Mm -hmm. When you go back to a bad habit, part of what this whole brain plasticity sort of theory is, is that the brain will tell you very quickly, hello, hello, don't need mm -hmm. to do that. Stop doing mm -hmm. that. So yes. people will often say that at the beginning of doing this work, they'll notice, but it'll be 10 minutes into it. And they'll be like, oh mm -hmm. God, how long have I been doing that? And now, mm -hmm. and that gets that time allotment gets shorter and shorter and shorter, where you notice right away. I do something and the thing poorly is, and yeah. I know right away. Yeah. And, and yep. you know, pain is only a signal of the brain to let you know that there's something wrong, right? Error. We're talking about this that. This is so a big error. Yeah. If, yeah. You, if you're not in pain, that tells you also that you do things right. You're doing things. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We say that all the time. Yeah. It's the only tool the brain has to mm -hmm. say, this is a mistake. This is not exactly. how you should be doing this. Is pain, numbness, tingling, whatever. Mm -hmm. And in the opposite, when you're moving and it feels fantastic and nothing hurts, mm -hmm. that's the same thing. That's your brain sending you, this mm -hmm. is fantastic. Please keep doing this. This is profitable for yeah. you. Yeah. And it's and it yeah. like, ultimately, it's like, what are you telling yourself when you do that? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like, how are you treating yes. this thing? Yes. That for we sure. have. You're for basically sure. saying, I, I like you. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. I don't and keep going while you're screaming in pain. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Very yeah. good. I'm not so, sure. We were going to mention. Yeah, go the ahead. Good, the best news is I've yes. been water skiing all yeah. summer. No problem. All summer. I was hesitant the first couple of times. And you know what? I got that little voice in my head that's just, just soft. And, and I get out of the water like butter. And it's like I notice even, you know, climbing up the ladder out of the water at the dock. Yeah. It's so easy. So uh, easy. And I have not had one moment where I felt pain after my water I just feel Isn't that great. fabulous. It's fabulous. Wow. So. Inside voice is like, Yay. yeah. So hopefully, you know, in another 25, 25, years, we'll 35 years, years, you'll still be doing it. <laughs> like, and not, who knows? And not that flew over from Israel. In, in the yeah. And it was and way, it was 95 not, or something. Was, anyways, it doesn't matter. He travels all the time he's well into his 90s and yeah. what's interesting about his traveling too is is the clarity of the travel too because travel is not easy not just not easy physically it's not it's not easy you know gate change where's my luggage what's happening you know yes. and the cognitive yeah, is is right there as well and that's what yeah, a lot of this see. work and does really, yeah. if you're saying it like what's stopping it from what's stopping it if you're if you're improving if you thought that you had to give up water skiing last year and you're now water skiing is mm -hmm. like it's mm -hmm. like butter getting up out of the water how are you going to be water skiing next yeah year? yeah exactly. and like you said oh i dropped my mic sorry also what you said was um like back in your like i don't i agree with you i don't move as well i did not move as well in my 20s as i do now in my early 50s I'm yeah better. absolutely i feel much better now than in and have 20s. less pain so i'm like yeah so what what's the possibility of 25 years from now i mean who I, knows? Feel the same. I don't know in my 30s i was at whatever and now it's i'm 45 whoa that's right <laughs> oh thank god you reminded me but yeah no i feel the same way i feel like i'm just i'm yes. now just taking off these shackles of whatever yeah. and throwing them to the side and like oh i, I don't have to feel that way yeah. anymore no and you know what no that was constantly on my mind too i mean and you get into the habit of thinking you know i got into the habit of thinking okay well i guess i have a, a bad back that mm -hmm. i'm just gonna have to live with that yeah and the pain is not going to get any better it's probably going to get worse the whole thing is going to get worse but i don't think that way anymore because now it's not like that it's not it's like that's been so pain. much yeah. better that i'm now i'm not even worried about getting older anymore that way right it's like exciting. i know it's i have tools i can do stuff and and hopefully yeah i'll, I'll be someday the oldest woman on this lake that water skis hopefully i love you know? it i love I'll it i mean yeah exactly <laughs> and i have to say just so you people in case people missed at the very beginning or like we're not i know this sounds magical um but the moments are pardon me the moments are magical. The moments are magical. You're a thousand well, percent right. You there, when yeah. you roll over and stand up from rolling and it took zero effort to do and you roll off the floor and you mm -hmm. stand up, that, that does feel magical. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. we, you know, we're not uninjured people. 
Because a lot of people will say, well, for you guys, you guys could, I mean, you had major, major back surgery that took bone from other parts of your body. I had major reconstruction. I was in the hospital for nine months in my, Mm -hmm. when I was 18, like the, so I just don't want anybody to hear and be like, well, they're just, they're just, they're the exception. We know no. dozens upon dozens upon hundreds and thousands of people that were in our training, everything that have had very, had huge illnesses as children or like big issues and are doing miraculous movement now. Mm-hmm. It's just that we, you know, we had a, we just hadn't, I never thought, I just thought I was just going to go we downhill. Yeah. Yeah. My whole time. Yeah. Cause that's, well, that's what everybody told. tells you. That's worse. the yeah. expectation, right? Yeah. Like so you it's just follow be... the expectation down. Yeah. Unfortunately, but it doesn't have to be that way. And, and I'm by no means a negative person, but you know, you come to a certain point where you believe the negative rather mm-hmm. than not. Yeah. Well, right? when it's happening, then it's, exactly. it's not like you're exactly. even believing it. It's just, that's just what it is. That's yeah. just what it yes. is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when it's happening in the positive, we have to, this is what it is. You will want to yeah. eat probably for a very long time. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. And it's yeah. not just Getting that. Easier. It's, you know, walking without pain. It's sleeping however I want to, not having to have any body position. Yes. Like, just, yeah. Just, I remember you to even that. on a, uh, sit on a, on a uh, zero gravity chair for eight hours if I want one day and read a book and that's fine. Yeah. I get out of there just fine. You know, Crazy. whereas yeah. before it would be like, oh my God, what have I yeah. done? Right? Like, and, and I remember you saying, because I was the same way, you had to travel. If you traveled, you had to bring a whole bunch of pillows and you had to bring yes. Vermont and blankets and this and well, sheepskin. And That's all I did too. You had to get your, uh, your, your husband to, uh, to massage you, I think. Those yes. were yeah. Yeah. You were in a cabin or something. You were like, I can't even, inter- I can't even have a good time on our little holiday here because I'm dying for the first 48 hours. You know? Yeah. Yeah, no, and, and you know, like uh, we talked about uh, stretching too. I used to yes. have to stretch every single day. Mm-hmm. And I would stretch. I would get up really early so I could stretch before water skiing. I come back and I have to stretch again. And that was just part mm-hmm. of my routine. Honestly, I've been lazy. I actually oh, have smarter. Smarter. barely, smarter. barely, barely stretched. Like there's the all mm-hmm. timer and maybe do a little stretch here and there. But for the last three months, I haven't really done anything. I'm just, oh, oh, I'm just yeah. having fun. <laughs> You've done loads, just not the typical everyday yes, stretch. No stretching, I mean, I haven't yeah. done any stretching yeah. or any yeah. other really. exercises. You know, list out the things that you did do and then say, okay, those yeah. are the things I'm going to continue doing. And then those yeah. other things. But we know what you mean. You haven't done the yeah. typical I yeah, I will do I, I will do a little ABM most days, not every single day, yeah. but most days. And often it's only like five minutes. You know, I'll yeah. get on the floor and, and do a little pelvis movement or whatever. Or I'll yeah. do it in bed when I wake up or at the end of the day. If I had a really long day at the office and I sat in an office chair for eight hours or whatever, yeah. I'll do it in the evening. But it might be five, ten minutes and I'm fine. You know, yeah. I and seldom do like a half an hour or an hour. But you know, just the time saving. All I need, yeah, (laughs) just like literally an hour a day. So Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, not doing it. That's fantastic. And I think I was to the point of overstretching at times because I felt like I needed to, and I probably did too much, and I strained more than I did good. But when you're in pain, it's really hard to figure out what to do. It feels like this is the tool that I should be using, so I use more of that tool. Yeah. Yeah. So go big. Yeah. 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 No, that's a huge time saving. And last thing before we jump off, I remember you saying to me that you um, there's well, one of the things that we do here, and we haven't done it a lot, but we're starting to think of, and obviously we have to wait till you know, everything is good social distancing wise and stuff, but there's, I would love to take the group class and get the heck outside and start doing like, how do we Mm -hmm. climb stairs? Yeah. ABM wise. How do we roll across the sand? How do we get off the toilet? Let's grab a chair. You know, we do that already. Mm -hmm. We do Mm -hmm. do chairs and we do work, but possibly even go into someone's house and see their house and see what they can, you Mm -hmm. know, what areas in their home that they, don't like, yeah. you know, that don't work for them or things like that. And uh, so that's also something that you and I mm-hmm. have talked about that um, would, yeah, could be a nice segue. Who knows? Who knows? It's, we can do whatever the heck we want yeah. with a lesson. Yeah. yeah. Go anywhere, sure. do anything. Yeah, that's yeah. great. It's so flexible and, and yeah. we're doing Zoom, right? We've been doing Zoom calls and yeah. Zoom group lessons. And We've been doing Zoom group fine. lessons, which have been mm-hmm. great. I actually, mm-hmm. really, I said to the Zoom, I had a group lesson this afternoon and I said, use this opportunity 
to watch other people because you yes. know there's a bunch of little squares on the screen zoom squares and i'm like watch yourself in movement see mm -hmm. maybe you can notice something from a visual perspective that you didn't notice interior because you know who, who knows it's mm -hmm. just another variation of of how to make this work and mm -hmm. and i think the zoo the i don't know i i might continue the the zoom classes mm -hmm. Um, in fact, I know I will because there are a lot of people that are long distance yes, that take the course. Zoom classes that mm -hmm. they're not going to cut them out once, once you know, mm -hmm. everything's called and we can have group classes here. But anyway, mm -hmm. I think that's it. You're yeah, a prize, right. prize that's student. Like, we love you. I'm always surprised <laughs> when we hear these stories. I'm, I know. I mean, you. I hear your story. Obviously, we see you, some, but I'm sort of more on the peripheral or mm -hmm. have been and not yeah. really as much now that... I'm more full time now that he's full time, he'll you you absolutely should start yeah. getting some more lessons from uh, JL too, so, not just me. Yeah, but it's, yeah. I, I, I listen and I hear these stories and and mm -hmm. I, I you know especially about the skiing, especially about you know the time savings and how you're just mm -hmm. feeling the trip to, you know it's it's all it's mm -hmm. all the stuff that I'm hearing. I'm always surprised. So I'm yeah, happy. yeah, no, it's great, amazing. Nice. Thank I you. love. I'm, I'm grateful. Oh, we're 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 thrilled. That it's, we are. We're thrilled. I mean, I would hate yeah, to teach great. something well, and be like, "Oh, it doesn't work very well." It works exactly. brilliantly. Yeah. 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 It absolutely does. And you know what? It's worth the commitment. It yep. really is. Yeah. And you know, with anything in life, if you wanna, if you wanna do good, if you wanna achieve success, you have to make a commitment. Yeah. And you know, if you start something, you do it through two, three times, and think, "Well, it's not really doing much. I'm gonna quit, move on to the next thing." That's not long enough you have to be persistent at something and like i said you create a new habit that's going to be your new way of doing it but it, it does require a commitment it does it does. and if you have if you're prepared to do that then you're going to see you're going, you're going to, to see results yeah, yeah i feel like yeah. i agree with you 100 yeah yeah, yeah. You know? it's not a one but it's like that with any that it's like that with anything of course yeah. it is yeah. if you wanted to learn a, a language and you went to a lesson once mm -hmm. every once in a blue moon you'd be like I don't have anything. What yeah. verb? What? Hello? Yeah. yeah exactly. If you, somebody said to me, well, I guess it would be equated to like, if you wanted to weight lift weight. to yeah. say, if you wanted to body build, that was your thing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just lifting weights. You were actually going mm -hmm. to, to do it, to make bigger muscles, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call that. Um, and, and you did it and you were very, very muscular. And then you decided to stop doing it. You don't, mm -hmm. there would never, it would be insanity. There would just, wouldn't be one person that would say, oh, you're going to stay like that for the rest of your yeah, life. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. it's the same thing. This is a process. Yeah. This is a way of life. This is, yeah. a, and, but my thing is my commitment to it. I was not a big committer to things before, but when something, when I got the pain relief that I got, yes. Um, when I got the mobility that I got, because mm -hmm. I was, my mobility was going downhill every, every day. Yeah. And so when I got those things, those things are huge. I mean, we, I, we've talked about this before. We have a special needs child. We have to stay mobile. We have yeah. to start lifting. He's only going to get bigger. So from a mama's bear standpoint, maybe that's where it came from me, where I was just like, screw it. It's working. Mm -hmm. So I'm going mm -hmm. to continue. But it was also very, it's very, it's, it's lovely when you don't have pain. Yes, feels normal. It's like, like that is normal. When, yeah, <laughs> when everyone around yeah. you is like, "Oh, mother, oh, getting old, oh no, yeah. I can't." How do you do? It's lovely to be that person that's mm -hmm. like, "I'm just going to roll backwards off this chair, and it's not going to be a problem whatsoever." And yeah. I'm the one that was in the wheelchair for two years. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, good. Yay! Awesome. Yeah, All right. I think that's it. So, that's it. move therapies is the name of our clinic here in Asoyuz. The, the therapy that we practice is the Anat Benyel method. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll put these links down below so you can uh, spend some time peeking at our website or speaking or peeking at the, the method itself. And that was it. And we thank you so much for doing thank this. You, thank you. As a for lot being of here and doing the work. It's, it's important that people tell, because we can chat about yeah. it all we want, and everybody's like, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's what you guys do. But when mm. someone else gives a testimonial, it's super profitable, and it's super kind. Some people aren't comfortable doing it, so we really appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Excellent. Okay. Take okay. care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.